Hello, my name is Harrison Watker. You're at the second half of uh, this show, wherein we're bringing to you information on how to save lives as well as yours. I am mad. Galit na po ako because ngayon na naririnig ko itong cure pala nito, dalawang dekada na pala dito. Mabuti pa yung mga tao, tika sambales, alam nila. At sa kakarinig nila, kuro-kuro umiikot. Alam nila pagdating sa dengue at sa mga life-killing viruses. Ito si Dr. Ruben Fabunan, yung nakagawa nitong mga invention nito. At marami na pala nabuhay. You know what's interesting or what makes me mad is when commerce comes into medicine. We've already heard of the fantastic RH bill, which is really nothing more than a pharmaceutical lobby. Now, that's okay. They can take all the billions of pesos that they want to steal from this government that government's willing to give them. I mean, kung masakit ang ulo mo, bibigay sa'yo contraceptive. That's the law, RH bill. Kung naputulan ka ng paa, bibigay sa'yo yung pills, yung 21-day pills. Di ba? Uh, that's the law. Eh. Masakit po tiyang ko, ha? baka buntis ka, ito na lang gawin mo para malaglag mo. The RH law, anyway, will come into, um, they'll come into some deliberation, I think, on July 6. But we're not here to talk about that. What irritates me is when commerce comes into medicine, life-saving medicine, why is it human beings are so stupid and so corrupt that money goes first before saving lives. Ladies and gentlemen, yung mga ganun, mas lalo yung mga doktor who are involved in discrediting life-saving solutions when they have nothing else to show. Ni walang option, walang alternative eh. Buti pa ito, eh, go to that. Diba? Not for anything, but unless you have a better, a better solution, but to discredit something that can help people, how sh shame on you. You should, you're not fit to be human. You're fit to be given to the dogs, pit bulls no less, who will bite you off. It's irritating. We have with us uh, Mel and Raquel Fabunan, who are here to, dis to, again, continue the presentation. And then we even have uh, a number of uh, actual patients who got cured, who give some testimonies. Right? We're going to start showing in this second part of the show the telephone numbers po, and the emails and whatnot. Take note, kumuha na kayo mga lapis at sulat nyo. Save yourself, your family, your neighbors. Don't listen to the BS that media gives you and all the, the other doctors who just want to take your money and are not concerned about curing you. We also have attorney Nick Rodriguez with us and soon some guests, will, we can't say their names. But Mel, you take it away. We'll go through the PowerPoint quickly again. We'll ask the money. There we go. Okay. Raquel will present again. Ah, yes, this slide uh, shows the comparison of the FAI uh, versus antiretroviral drugs that are being used now for HIV and AIDS uh, treatment. Uh, FAI is a much shorter treatment. It, we're talking about HIV AIDS. Biro mo HIV kaya mo na ikura. Sige, continue, continue. Ang treatment po niya is one year lang po. Uh, compared to ARV na lifelong. Tapos po, ang potential, uh, ang, ang uh, mechanism of action, like we said before, sterilizing cure and a complete eradication of the virus from the body, meaning at the end of the year, undetected ka na, wala ka ng virus sa katawan mo. Grabe, Ganun ang galing. Ano? And, Walang uh, laban ng mga pharmaceutical dito. Maybe what they want to do is discredit you para makuha nila yung drug sa inyo pagkitaan nila and charge the Filipino 100,000 per yes, sir. para mamatay. This is typical of pharmaceuticals, just so you know. But continue, please. Next slide. Next slide. Yeah. All right. Okay, next slide. Okay, uh, like we've, we've covered before, a uh, combination po ito ng all approved drugs. So, wala pong illegal na, na ginagawa si Doc to... Uh, to uh, give this medicine to people. It's cost-effective, malayong malayong mas mura po at affordable ni Juan de la Cruz. Kasi po, uh, karamihan po ng uh, mga nagiging pasyente ni Doc, eh, yung iba po, eh, naubos na po sa ospital ang kanilang, mm -hmm. <laughs> ang kanilang financial source. Kaya, nagiging last resort si Doc 
Ganun po ang nangyayari. When this should be the first. When he should, should be the because first. Because after all, there is no cure. But Opo. continue, continue. Okay. okay. Now, the uh, antiretroviral drugs, it does not kill the virus in the body. You know? So that's the... This is... Uh, one of the patients Jure. before, that's Jure, before the uh, South Saudi hospital, he came home to die, basically. Mm -hmm. May age yun. Oh. And that's, uh, and that's him after three months. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's here. Yeah. He was confined in uh, King Saud Hospital in Jeddah for about four, four months. And no medicine was given to him except for yung lang pong medyo pampalakas ng konti. Yan lang po, pampaanis ng lagnat. Uh, okay. And then he came was, home. Uh, Nag-submit siya sa Fabuna antiviral injection. After three months, ito na po siya. Ang kanyang, uh, he's still alive today, no? He's still right Oh, he's here with and us in the here. studio. Oh my God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you will hear his voice. Uh -huh. This is the, okay, the first patient along with the... Uh, volunteers in, from South Africa that did not complete the treatment, but they're still alive. This here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's go a quick interview. Mm -hmm. You were in Saudi Arabia, and sinabi sa'yo, wala na, tapos ka na. I'm not going to show you the picture of the, uh, the person. We're going to blur him so he can talk back. But uh, let me see. We're going to have to get a microphone so he can, we can hear his side. Uh, Tell us about what happened to you, briefly. Actually, I was uh, diagnosed 2011, and that was September. What did you say to the doctor in Saudi? Uh, before that, uh, they should have to know my condition to have my extension of working permit. Uh -huh. But since I was pregnant at that time, so they knew that I was HIV positive. You were tested, you didn't have it. Na-test po, tapos na-confine po ako dahil sa taas ng lagnat ko at saka masakit ang ulo ko. Hindi na po ako makatayo. So, na-confine po ako na <coughs> since November 2011 up to March 2012. More than four months po akong na-confine. Binalik po ako dito sa Pilipinas through the help of OWA at saka po ng konsulada po natin sa Middle East. So yun po, uh, in-endorse po ako para ma-register dito sa hospital, sa government hospital dito sa Pilipinas. Pero po, bago po yun, narinig ko na po yung FAI, which is Fabunan Antiviral Injection. Malakas po ang loob ko na magkakaroon po ako ng magandang uh, experience dito sa gamot. Kaya po, yun po ang naging desisyon ng family ko po na magpagamot po doon. But since na hindi pa po ako talaga required dun sa gamot na ginagamit ng government natin, simula po nung gumamit po ako ng FAI, maganda po ang naging kainatnan. Halos mamatay po ako nung nandito ako, nung bumalik po ako dito sa Pilipinas. But within three months po, yun po ang, eto na po ako ngayon, nakakapag-contribute na po bilang isang positive, HIV positive, sa lahat po ng mga meron okay. dito sa Pilipinas. L ladies and gentlemen, um, we don't want to show the image of the person, the identity, to give him privacy in life so that, after all, he has a second lease on life. But I'd like to ask him a couple of questions para marinig nyo. This is not a stint. We're not trying to sell you the Fabunan injection. I'd like you to hear the endorsement of a person who's actually had a second lease in life. May intention ka bang iba para sabihin na ini-endorse mo kasi nabuhay ka. I mean, baka naman you're part of the family, baka naman marketing stint lang yan. What makes you say all these things in truth? I mean, talaga, because talaga nangyari sa'yo. Wala kang interest ang, para sa drug nito. Ang totoo po nung naramdaman ko yung gamot, para pong may isang sinyales at may, may mensahe po para sa akin na parang ako po yung magiging daan na malaman at makatulong po dun sa mga kapwa ko, positibo, na, 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 na naghihirap ngayon sa kasalukuyan. Bali po ang naging daan po nito, kaya ako po ginagawa ito. Dahil po narinig ko kung gaano kahirap ang nararanasan po ng mga HIV AIDS positive. So po nung nalaman ko yon dahil ako rin po mismo, naramdaman ko yung hirap. 
Kung ako po yung anak ng isang magulang, ito lang po ang pinaka first at saka best choice na pwede kong ibigay doon sa mga magulang, hindi lamang po doon sa mga positive. So, lahat na subukan na siyo at sinubukan na nila sa ospital, wala naman nangyari, walang tulong nangyari sa'yo. So far po, nung naranasan ko po yung nakakonfine ako, wala po talagang pagbabago. Unless po nung na-inject ako in three days, three days lang po, talagang ako na, mas, ako na po mismo yung pumupunta doon sa klinik ni Dr. Willie Pabunan. Kasi nung una po, tinatayo lang po ako sa sa sasakyan. <laughs> this, you know, this is a wonderful uh, endorsement. Yeah. We have two more. Uh, yes, sir. We have two more. We'll yeah. pass the mic. We'll ask no, the others. No, what, what is the experience of the uh, other sorry. endorsers? Uh, okay, Maya, you can explain to us. Ano naman naging story niyo po? Uh, ako naman po, I was diagnosed um, early this year. Uh, early la no, ba, last year. Last year. Last year. Po, okay. Last year. So... Um, HIV ka rin? Yes, HIV positive din for uh, last year. I was diagnosed last year. So I've been taking yung medicines that were prescribed by DOH for six months up until I learned about FAI. So the Fabuna anti uh, antiviral injection. So uh, I started last March ng injections. And so far, okay naman po siya. Kasi with, uh, with the medicines that were prescribed by DOH, usually you f yung rashes, may mga side effects kasi sa rashes, um, you feel dizzy at, at night after taking the pill. Um, tapos, syempre, they have to monitor your yung liver functions mo, kidneys. So, with FAI, wala pong mga ganun side effects na kailangan i-monitor yung kidneys kasi nga po. Uh, through your natural, yung sweat, stool, urine, dun lumalabas, dun sila na excrete you, you know, I don't understand it. When I see uh, DOH on TV, all I see is Gangnam Style dancing. <laughs> Why the hell can't they promote medicines that can work when there is no other option anyway. I, I, I don't understand this. Now, you were telling us before the break, lumabas na pala sa media ito in one of the big broadcast TV stations. Opa. Anong ginawa nila? Diniscredit pa kayo, baliktad. Opa. Why? I, anong, anong, why would the big networks try to discredit you? Why? Bakit kumikita? Bakit na malaking limpak? Limpak, limpak na na sa lapi and doon sa sapabunan. Baka naman mansion na yan, parang kay... Mani Pacquiao, ang hawak niyo doon sa Zambales. I think some, so, someone is paying them to do that. Those demolition This guy jobs. must be the devil. Maybe the gates of hell is not in Manila, but that one person who's trying to discredit a solution for people who are dying. But they did discredit. Why, why do you think? Why? Uh, uh, greed. Para commerce. Commerce. Insatiable greed. Wala po silang kabusugan. Consensya naman ho sana. Uh, you know, just imagine that what this medicine can do, it will even put our country in the mm. forefront of med science. Uh, the, the economic potential that will uplift Juan de la Cruz from third class to mm -hmm. at least second or first class but citizen even media, of the world. But even media, why would media want to discredit you? I, I don't understand that. Uh, I, I think mm. you even have it, yeah. diba? If, if uh, we may be allowed to speculate. Yes, uh, please. We, have, we recognize that uh, actually... Uh, media, especially mainstream, they have uh, advertisers who more or less are uh, multinational uh, pharmaceutical companies who would be, well, based from uh, what I've heard mm -hmm. uh, from the... Speculative, the, of course. It's purely speculative. Yes, uh, yes. So but I, I hope not, no. But, so it's uh, commerce. It's commerce versus life. Ganun na nangyayari. Wala naman silang solution na iba na pinopromote. Kung sana kami alternative. Here's a pill that will lessen the pain. Not cure you, it will lessen the pain. Pero mamamatay ka rin. Like, like what's happened to our guest here. Yeah. Ang ginawa na lang, pinabalik na lang sa Maynila. Ito at least is a solution. Mm -hmm. Why haven't you gone all out? Hindi uh, mo lagay sa Mercury yan. Lagay mo, big side, cure dengue, cure HIV. Dito mo bilhin to. Ba't di mo gawin yun? Pinagbabawalan din kayo ng Mercury? It seems like it. Hindi naman. Hindi naman. Oh, oh why don't... Hindi naman. I'll, I'll be the one to put your product on the shelf. Pwede ba yun? Can we sell it in the shelf? Help the Filipino. Magkano lang yan? Biro mo, 4 mil lang yan. Uh, ang liit na pera yan para makabuhi ang isang tao. I mean, we spend billions. Diba? We send billions of pesos to study issues. Puro nag-aaral lahat ng gobyerno natin. They love to study. We will study the issue. But there is no action. Diba? 
I hate it when people are dying and then nothing's, no one's doing anything about it. Do you have any more on your presentation here? What, what would you want to present? Uh, go, go ahead and explain. Would you want to show, wag na natin discredit yung media, no? Nakakahiya because he's one of the big uh, announcers on TV, no? That people listen to him every day, but actually he is peddling lies, right? Yes, actually, Harry, uh, two um, giant networks yung nag-cover. So, Harry. Channel 2 and 7. Nagsisin but 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 kami ay diretsuhin mo. Kung nagsinungaling yung dalawa, palabas mo nagsinungaling sila at ano sinasabi nila. Mabuti yung ganun. That's why we have TV stations like GNN because the truth has to come out and print has to come out, promote it because our intention is not to discredit. Our intention is simple. Save lives. Tapos na. Huwag na tayong magbolab-bolahan pa. That's what we should all be involved in. Nation building, helping people. Right. After all, mm -hmm. Christiano tayo, we're Catholic. Mm -hmm. di ba? Let's, not, let's not push the boundaries. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. commerce. Dapat nga, ako, I think, in an election, dapat walang commerce eh. Para sa akin, ha? Disallow commerce in elections. Because politics is serious business and elections are serious business. Dapat yan walang komersyo. Walang pwede kumita dyan sa eleksyon. Walang advertising, advertising. Di ba? But, Go ahead. Uh, what would you... Nairita ako, but go ahead. I, I see, get emotional, but go. I want to show the first patient okay, that they treated for uh, HIV AIDS in 1999. And she was mysteriously... She mysteriously disappeared year 2000. Nawala. After and nawala. she completed her treatment. Kasi no, uh, ayos na siya, eh, no? Okay. Uh, Na-complete yung treatment niya. And then she resurfaced nung nagkaroon na po ng advocacy ang FII, mm -hmm. she resurfaced last November 2012 na sinasabi po niya ngayon na she was still taking an ARV from the DOH. Now, this is the thing. Okay. Lahat po ng kasabayan niya, and five years after that, mm -hmm. nangamatay na. Mm -hmm. Nangamatay na. So, wala, at lahat po na nakakalam po ngayon ng istorya nito that she is actually a validation of FAI. Correct. Na, kasi dahil namatay na yung mga sa, through A ARV. Kaya ngayon, and she looks so young at the age uh -huh. of 60, kaya po ngayon, ting, lahat na makakalam po ng istorya na to, naniniwala ngayon sa FAI. Na yung sinasabi niya, yung discrediting statements niya, ay kasi nung alingan. You, you know what's irritating is, here you are, you come up with a solution. L let's assume, like uh, Dr. Uh, Attorney Nick here, because he's, He's careful being legalist, di ba? A man of the law. May ka. Don't say uh, compounded statements that are eternal or all, yung parang 100%, di ba? But if the hospitals and pharmaceuticals cannot offer a solution, especially for HIV and dengue, there is no solution. Pumasok sa hospital for dengue, they take your blood, they monitor it, and they study it. And that study really goes nowhere because you either improve or you die. Di ba? Ganun lang naman yun eh. There is no cure. Wala kami, hindi kami in-injection na here's the cure and you'll feel better. Walang solution. Mas lalo na sa HIV as endorsed by our guest. Sinabi na sa'yo, di ba, na mamatay ka na lang, bumalik ka na lang sa bayan mo. I mean, is this how we treat OFWs? Is this how we treat people who send the billions of dollars into this country that saves this country? Is this how we treat them? We just send them back wherever para mamatay na lang kayo? I mean, shame on DOH. Shame on the TV stations that try to discredit. Unless may solusyon kayo, buti sana, unless your drug kills, ha? Unless this drug kills. Yung pala, tinake me to, namadali, namatay ka, o napilayan ka, o you grow a second head. Or yung dalawang kamay mo, naging limang kamay. Yung, yung, yung yeah. mga side effects ba? Okay. Actually, doesn't... that's one of the first things that I asked before uh, volunteering. No? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, so one of the things that I asked was, kung may side effect ba to? Uh, and then, ang, ang ginawa nila is, sinabi nila sa akin na, actually, ini-injection na to since 1970s pa. Na minsan walang namatay. Oh my first gosh, patient. fantastic. It's already 30 plus patient. years. If that's not yeah. validation enough, mm -hmm. what else, what requires... But alam mo, ang kiniinisan ko, it's not even that. Eh. Do you have an alternative? Yun lang naman tinatanong ko. Okay, let's not take the FAI. What are we gonna take? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Ano ba naman, mamatay na nga ako, tapos sabihin mo sa akin, nothing, no solution. What's wrong with you, di ba? Yeah. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just talking You're, logic. Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're taking notes. Uh, main notes, dapat dyan sa ilalim. Yan, dapat dito, lagay natin yung telephone numbers. Make no mistake. Write the numbers down. Write the emails. If you have friends, relatives, in your community, save the life. Mas importante po yun. It is not the money. Mahiya yung kumikita at yung iba na mamatay para kumita sila. That blood money, I hope, will go after him for the rest of his life and his family's life. How dare that man make money out of other people's lives, diba? We've only got four minutes left. What would you like to finish? Because I'd like for you to give an ending statement, a couple of 30 seconds or so, mm -hmm. before we end. What would you like to present very quickly? We're running out of time. Sir, this is the first patient beaten in 1975, and he's still alive up to now, with 12 grandchildren living happily. Uh, the wife testified that uh, she bore three more kids after <laughs> the accident. <laughs> uh -huh. And they're all normal kids. They're all normal, they're all normal. kids. Uh, and, then, and everything is, uh, please watch Dengue Killer at YouTube uh, because a lot of testimonials are, has been uploaded. Okay. We have three more minutes left. I'd like to start out with Attorney June Rodriguez. What message would you like to give our viewers before we end this program? <coughs> Anong mensahe maganda sabihin sa kanila? Uh, well, uh, all, all that I can say is, uh, kaya ako nandito is, uh, uh, I'm a witness uh, as to what happened and kung anong cure na nagagawa nito, especially in terms of dengue, na naniniwala rin ako sa sinabi nyo na nakakainis na kung available siya hanggang 1990. Ilan na lang pong namatay ng mga kababayan natin from 1990 hanggang ngayon sa dalawang dekada na yon na hindi po nabigyan ng opportunity o kahit na information man lang na may available na gantong na gantong uh, gamot. So, nagpapasalamat kami sa inyo na binigyan niyo kami ng pagkakataon para mailabas ito. Huwag kang mag-alala, hindi, hindi ko kayo titigilan. I'll make sure you keep coming <laughs> out on GNN, if not in my show, other shows. We have to keep going to save Filipinos. Raquel, what message would you like to give? Well, again po, um, we'd like to seek the attention of the government, uh, the government agencies, uh, since we've been um, going through a lot uh, with the struggle promoting this medicine, para po maging available na po sa lahat ng mga tao, hindi lamang po sa Sambales area. Kasi po marami pa pong lugar sa mga ibang probinsya na hindi po nila alam itong cure na ito, especially ngayon pong dengue season. Kasi po marami na mamatay talaga. Mel, very quickly. Uh, opo, gusto ko lang po i-touch base that this is also a national security issue because it threatens the lives of the very treasure of the nation which is our people. Ang ano ko lang po, tingnan po natin to, itong potential na to for nation building, lahat, no, may moral issue, social issue, bakit po natin kinakailangan kaya ang marami ang mamatay? No? Samantalang pwede naman po natin silang sagipin. At least, magkaroon po lang po sila ng informed choice that the alternative exists para po makapag po sila kung ano po yung tamang gusto nilang may salba yung buhay nila. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to extend uh, a thank you as well to JC De Los Reyes, the president of the Angkapatiran, who brought this issue straight up to me last week. I read it on the emails and I couldn't believe what I was reading, which is why I started inquiring some more. And thank you very much, JC, for bringing to our attention this issue. Because there you go, he's even one of the... He's, may sakit ba si JC? Mamatay ba si... May HIV ba si JC? <laughs> masama, lang, masama, masama, masama lang po yung katawan. Mas, <laughs> after the election, niya. napagod. Oh, napagod. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we hope this show has been informative. I will see to it that we ask the, this group to come back on multiple shows here in GNN. Because in GNN... It's not necessarily about commerce. It's about the truth. It's about not creating truth, but to inform you on how to save your lives. Simple lang po yun. Tawag dyan, nation building. Maraming salamat po. My name is Harry Tambuatka. I hope hindi kayo nairita sa aggravation ko. Sino ba naman hindi magagalit kung namamatay ang Pilipino at walang ginagawa ang gobyerno kundi mag Gangnam Style, Gangnam Style. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We have to sit here muna.
You are what you watch.